this point. It's a young sound man's way of saying thank you to the families of fallen servicemen and women. As Channel 3's Paul Thomas reports now, his gift gives life to the life stories of those who died in Operation Iraqi Freedom. What means the most to your heart, painted? It is Ray Simon's guiding principle, the hands follow the heart. Artwork should evoke a feeling. Creating artwork that touches the hearts of strangers. Strangers he first meets. I heard the facts. Was that another casualty? After their loved ones have died. You immediately get up and stop what you're doing. Because it's another face. It's another soldier. It's another casualty. The faces emailed pictures of those killed in Operation Iraqi Freedom. These are the casualties that we get from all over the country. Brian D. Bland, 1st Battalion, 3rd Marines. Every week we get in about 10, 12 casualties. Daryl James Schumann, Hampton, Virginia. The pictures and few lines of information provide just a glimpse into their lives. Soldiers in their mid-30s, where they have families, children, Simon wanted to honor them and their contributions, so he created this, a painting drawing on powerful images, the toppling of Saddam Hussein's statue, an Abrams tank charging across the desert, a little girl holding an American flag. We actually laid the picture in to the painting. In the left corner, Simon carefully attaches a picture. When the circle becomes filled, the painting has honor and it has a story. This day, the picture is of a 24-year-old Marine. This is Lance Corporal Andrew Owacki. Andrew's story told by his parents. The happy is probably the one where everybody would use for Andy. Growing up in Northeast Ohio, Andy was a typical boy. His mother laughs when she thinks about the time he was goalie on his soccer team. And I'd look over and see him sitting in the back of the net trying to catch bugs. I mean, he, it wasn't for him. It just wasn't enough action. Action. That's what Andy wanted. And he wanted to help people. Marine boot camp at 18, police officer in Grand River at 21. He decorated the inside of his squad car with smiley face stickers. And when his mom got sick last year, Andy visited the hospital every day. He sat there and he spoon fed me. And there's not too many guys that would do that. One of Andy's favorite pictures from Iraq, an arm around two boys and a thumbs up. Andy was killed in February when a roadside bomb exploded in the convoy he was providing protection for. Since his death, Andy's parents have received many things. The flag that adorned his casket, and a lithograph print from Ray Simon. For Andy's dad, Dennis, the painting brought him to tears. A lot of the images we have are difficult for me to look at. Um, but I can look at that and I'm proud. The picture will be placed in a special spot. Right there. Right over the couch. They take that painting and they put their loved one up on the wall. And they get a chance to talk about their loved one. Ray Simon knows there are people who disagree with the United States involvement in Iraq. But he also knows there are parents burying their children. The letters he receives tell Simon he's doing the right thing. I'm very proud to display your painting and very saddened too. I'm very proud of my son. I just wish I could hold him one more time. Now those lithographs are free to the families of fallen servicemen and women and Ray Simon and Wilbur Funeral Services share the cost. Simon has given away nearly 800 framed lithographs to families across the United States and he does it because he says he wants to say thank you. What a beautiful thing for him to do. When did he decide to do this? Well this has been years in the making. This really started when Ray was commissioned uh, to do a World War II piece for the veterans. That was seven years ago. His dad Patrick Simon was a medic in World War II. He died when Ray was a teenager and Simon found that painting helped his children learn about their grandfather keep his memory and their sacrifices alive. And this is really the first time that he's done it on this 
grand of a scale. He's done the yeah. World War II, the Korean uh, uh, pieces, and also for Vietnam Operation Desert Storm. But this one has really affected him. And thanks to the Nowaki family for sharing Absolutely. with us. Absolutely. Great family. Yet and that again. picture, by the way, is up, hanging up over the couch right now. Thanks, Paul. Tonight. Still no sign of a missing Georgia bride-to-be.